So hello, welcome back to the uh, course. So we want to now look at uh, some UI design for this one. So we want to create something similar to this. So, uh, but we're going to do some changes. So whenever this is on the mobile phone, it's going to look something like this. And uh, when it's on the full screen, it's going to look like this. But we're really going to change how it's going to look like. We're also going to change the whole page and when we click on this, the add page, we want this to be at the center and not at the end because uh, this good one is at the center. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. So we're just going to go to PHP right here and let's go to our event. So this event is where we are writing, uh, is the page that is handling this. So first of all, we want to design how the home page is, uh, the ad page is looking like. So we want to make it float at the center. So you're going to go to page design and you want to go to where we have this so you see the container that is holding that page we want to go to where we have row class here and you're going to grid row here and change that to be justify center i want it to be at the center and now you can publish your project again so once we go back to our page we expect it to be floating at the center of the page so we are doing it with container it's not really container fluid but we're going to do both so that we can see what we mean by container okay so uh this one should be at the center for now uh, let's see let's go back there come on All right, there we go. So it's now floating at the center that we want. But now it's with it's just a container. So as you can see, it is just a container. So you can come here and switch this to container fluid so that you can see what the differences are. So let's see what the difference uh, between container and container fluid are. So I'm going to pause so it finishes. all right so we're back now we have uh, set our page to be container and not really container fluid so the container uh, uh, sorry we set the page to be container fluid and uh, not container so when you set the page to be container fluid it stretches all the way up to the end like you can see it's now stretched a little bit but it's not really stretched all the way to the end because our page is set to be uh, column d7 so it stretches all the way to the end, takes the full width of the screen. So basically that's what we want. Now let's make it float, uh, fit the screen and then uh, make this uh, status and name appear side to side. So we're going to go to make this uh, column D12, make it column D12 or 11 so that it stretches a little bit on the screen. And then we go to pages here. We want the name to be call six. So come here and say call six. So uh, basically what we are doing is that we are telling uh, uh, this input to be to take half of the screen. And then you're going to make this also call six so that appears half of the screen. And then this one appears uh, next to the name. Okay, so it's going to be call six. Also this one, make it call six. So it's also going to appear uh, right next to name. So I'm going to pause for you to generate. Okay, so it's now generated. Now, as you can see, the name and the status are appearing side to side. So that's generally what we want to have there. The next thing I want is I want to change this button here. I want it to float somewhere on the right. So I want to change it and make it float somewhere on the right. So for this one, there's no other way but to manually edit the add page. So I'm going to go to add page here and you're going to navigate all the way down to where we have the button uh so this is our button that is floating all the way to the end so i don't want this icon to be send i want it to be add okay so there's an icon inside the page uh the icon picker which is called add this one here so that's why i added it there it's not that i guessed it then i don't want the name submit then what i want to do is give this class a uh, this card a class and I'm going to make it float right okay so basically I told this guy uh, remove the name and remove change the icon and I want you to 
to float on the end of the screen so basically uh, comes from here where it is right now and goes at the end of the screen there so there you go the uh, the button is floating at the right at the end of the screen so if you want to maybe make it fit inside the card then you have to uh, manually do it so let's see where the card ends because there's a card somewhere okay that card uh, is uh, here so inside our form it asks you do you want to wrap it in the card that it says yes so the Q padding is medium so we can make it extra large so that the button can fit in uh, the card great but now let's go ahead first and do something else so, so we want to look at uh, what is available for this one all right so let's see what we have so now as you can see now the button is fitting right inside our our card okay so moving on so here maybe you want to have four four uh, fields in here so you have to do the math so if you do call six and call six so uh, six plus six that is twelve so if you want to divide that so that you can get the uh, right number of cards or of inputs they all have to go up to 12 so you divide 12 by 3 you get 4 so we want to give them call of 4 so if you come to the add page again here maybe you want to get the date all the way up to the end there uh, somewhere here you know the date but the status uh, sorry the date so bringing it on top of div and because this is called 6 you need to change it to call 4 and this change it to call 4 then come to the date here and also do call 4 something like that so once we publish this it should give us that but now remember we disabled the custom input so the button is going to go back to how it was before but we're going to return it to how we need it to be okay so that having been done we let's return uh, our code back how it was so if you click on custom edit again you have to do early generate page again because the changes you had done before will not have gone away i'm going to regenerate it so that the new changes can come so now as you can see it's called for but now we need to go back to where we have the button here this is from set to add and uh, remove the submit here add a class and then I'm going to make this class uh, float right we can also make that button to be round so here where we have rounded you can change it to uh, true and generate the page again and I'm going to pause good so if you come back here you notice that now we have all these fields at the top of this uh, at the top here and the button is rounded good so now let's go back to the page where we're having our list so we want to now we want to now uh, edit these cards so i'm just going to delete some that are empty delete that and delete this okay so uh, let's tell these cards so the first thing is that it has no shadow then these uh, is small letters small letters so let's do some stylings to it so go back to rad systems here and go to where we have uh, the list page so if you come to the list page here where we have the display template so this is where i changed it from uh, tabular that way to whatever that we have here which is uh, this blog view i think i use this one but you can also use something else so we can use this that we can style it how we want so in the title field you are going to add the name so i want the name to be in the title field and it is the description i want the description now the date time i want to display the date here and the image we don't want the image and i don't want this card to be separated then i want to uh, remove this shadow and put my own shadow it's going to be that and uh, there's a class there's a background color so uh -huh. okay we don't really have that available for now but we're going to add it ourselves so let's generate this and see what we get 
Okay, so now we have our card looking like this. So it has a shadow, so it has appear like this floating on the top. But now you notice that the first name is very small and is on, almost the same size as uh, this one. Okay, so uh, we want to give some padding. So we want this text to be a little bit inside the card and the first to be capital letters everything. So we're just going to go ahead and go to our PHP ad, go to the list view, and then I'm going to click on edit template. Now, you notice we have this card here, and we, it has a shadow of 18. Then, what we want to do is give it a, a class. So, I'm going to say BG Info. So, BG Info, the color that I'm going to get for BG Info is not going to be the same color you'd get for your BG Info. Why? Because if you come to Project Theme here, and I look for my BG for my Info color here, so I have a default color that I've added for my project. So you can also go and look for a color that you want and add it to the info. So every time you say BG Info in your project, everything that you add to that BG Info class to is going to take that color. So I'm just going to go to my custom here, go to here and say BG Info. So that is get at four. Now the next thing you need to do is make the capital letters, make the the first name the, the, or the name of the event to be capital letters. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go to the pages here and I'm going to look for where we have the name. So let's look for the name. Uh, where is the name? Here it is. So you're going to add a class here, here, and you're going to say text uppercase. So this means even if whoever is adding the record adds it in small letters, it's also going to be capital letters. Now if you go to test, it's so inside here. But now we want the test, the first letters to be capital. So T should be capital and E should be capital. So let's go ahead and do that. So when we go to our description here, let's give it a class of text. Uppercase. Okay, so this is going to ensure that the, every letter it starts with a small letter. Oh, sorry, every letter starts with a capital letter. Then we want to make it uh, go inside the card so that it doesn't appear on the same line as the name. So we're going to say Q padding left should be large. So we want the padding on the left side to be large so that they don't appear on the same line with the name. So let's see. Okay, so as you can see, the first one is. Uh, Capi the second word is capital, but that is not what we wanted because we did a mistake, a silly mistake. So uh, this should not be uppercase, but capitalize, capitalize, like that. Now the date we want it to be human date time. So come here and put that and say human supposed to be capital man date time. Is it human date time? Yeah. Uh, no, no, for the date, it has to be small h. And this should be capital date time. And say OK. And publish. So if you come here, you notice that now the date is in a readable form. And the test event now starts with the capital letter. And the first one starts like this. And the card now looks the way we want. So we want to change this, uh, this to be a uh, different icon. So we're going to go to our page event here. Go all the way up, sorry, not page event, go to project menu and we want to look for a certain uh, uh, icon. I think it's called more. Yeah, so it's more vertical. We want it to be more vert, okay. So that's the icon we're going to replace. Let's go to our page events here, go to our list page, custom here and look for where we have the edit here. So we have this button which has an icon of menu, so change this to be more that. Like that. Now we want this card, this button to float at the top right side of the, of the, of the card. Come here and this class make this absolute absolute top right. So I'm just going to say I want this card to float at the top right side of the card 
then we're also going to give it a padding of right be excess so this means extra small so we want the padding on the right side to be a little bit smaller so let's publish okay so there's an error so where we did the absolute top right we need to change this to be another score yeah, and publish all right so we cracked it but now there's one thing that had to be fixed which is a typing error somewhere when we come to our custom page here where we are doing absolute right it's not an underscore but a dash it's a dash so absolute top right and it's a dash so now as you come here you notice that now we have this floating at the top right side of the page so we can click on it and display that and if you inspect it it's also going to appear uh, the way you want it on the mobile phone so let's see okay so there you go so we have it appearing like this on a mobile phone if you click on it it's going to open it up and go to the page where you want it to be so that was it for this video guys and i hope maybe we'll be doing more of these in the future videos so see you in the next one